Hey everyone, this is Kit Cabello with Harlands Media. I'm here with Hesna Bozen. She is one of the main organizers for this event here at the Cook County Courts. Uh, this is in regards to bail bond and reform here in Cook County and the city of Chicago. So essentially, this is probably a huge historic event. You have Sen Illinois State Senator Daniel Biss uh, standing in solidarity with uh, some of your fellow protesters that are inside that building. Uh, essentially, what is happening? What causes protests to start in the first place? I mean injustice, that's what causes uh, protests to happen. And the thing is that Daniel Biss, he's not just standing in solidarity, he's risking arrest right now by sitting in the lobby of Cook County Courthouse. So um, when we look at this uh, injustice, uh, what's really impacting uh, working class families, people of color, especially when they uh, get unfortunately arrested and put behind bars, um, what, what's the uh, process in which uh, they have to get out? I mean, is the system fair? I think our viewers and subscribers want to know uh, really uh, what kind of reforms are really needed to really bring justice? Well, I would say overall that because the system is built upon the blacks of built upon the backs of black, brown, poor, indigenous people, reforms are not going to change this entire system, but we can start with abolitionist steps. And why we're here is to focus on pre-trial incarceration because none of these people have been proven to be guilty. 44% of the people that are in Cook County Jail are there simply because they are poor because they cannot afford bail. And the average person is spending four months in jail without actually being, actually having their trial because they're poor. And we're here to protest that. And End Money Bond is interesting because this is a campaign that's existed for about two years. And which in, what's interesting about it is that we already have an executive order that says judges should not be giving people bails that they cannot afford. So this is an escalation on them and to show that there are people willing to risk arrest for people that are in jail because they're poor and before trial. Now, of course, it seems like almost a year ago, because we were here this a year ago, that people were celebrating that there was some form of, uh, I guess, relief uh, due to Judge Evans' ruling, but essentially that hasn't happened. So has there been any kind of open communication with that judge in particular? I mean, definitely. We've tried to meet with Chief Justice Evans more than once. And the thing is, why we are having this protest it's not just to be out here and say you know don't contribute to the prison industrial complex in cook county it's to say that if you were a chief judge right and you cannot hold your judges accountable yeah we have to vote them out but also what do you do what is judicial accountability these are questions and conversations that we need to have before the election and we've been on this for two years so and in regards going forward, are there going to be any kind of attempts to get uh, any kind of help from City uh, Hall, any kind of elected officials to stand in solidarity or at least call for some kind of reform for bail reform? I mean, we certainly have. I mean, and money bond is specific because what are the Chicago aldermen going to do other than talk about it? Ultimately, this is the judicial branch that we're talking about. You know, we talk about President Trump doing these things. We talk about Rom doing these things. We even talk about the sheriff's office profiting off of this. But what's leaving, what's left out of the conversation is these judges. We think of them as neutral people that are just supposed to enforce the law. And the people that are in there right now are not enforcing the law. And they haven't been for years. Tim Evans has ignored our meetings has rescheduled each time we've also reached out to the um, to the public defender to speak up more in court about people getting these accessible bonds it's a two-way street and we've done more than enough trying to interact with all these different people that are complicit to having this keep happening and regards for our viewers and subscribers that want to learn more about your organization participate in more events where can they find you online and on social media Sure. So you can follow us on Twitter. We're Soul in Chicago. Um, we also have a site, Soul in Chicago. We're also active on Facebook. Thank you so much for joining Hardlands Media. This is Kid, everyone. Peace. You're watching Hardlands Media.